What's up, you guys? My name is Mary. I'm with High Priestess Intuition. Welcome, my current subscribers, and welcome, 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 newbies. If you guys are new to my channel and you enjoy my content, you can smash the sub button to be notified for future readings. Just saying, just saying, saying. Um, this is a free general collective reading, caps to side to everybody in between. Don't forget the basics. Time is fluid. Energy is fluid. If it doesn't apply, let it apply. Everyone has free will. Only take the messages that resonate with you. Uh, free general collective reading, so it's very important. Only take the messages that resonate and leave the rest. Um, I got a channel message in, so I decided to do this reading. I told you guys when I did the daily tea earlier today, I've got a few channels, and this is one of them. So I'm going to deliver it. If we get any more channel, um, we'll do it. Um, I'll pull some cards, just saying. Okay. Um, also, too, I was going to say real quick, um, I've started incorporating music into my uh, readings now. It's a new thing that I've started, so um, hopefully that can be confirmations for someone or not. Um, you know, you take it how it resonates, but I am starting to incorporate music into my readings. Okay, Even Flow by Pearl Jam is on. Even Flow by Pearl Jam. That could be significant to someone, possibly. Okay, so the um, channel message I received was um, someone has already missed a court date recently, and someone is about to miss a court date recently. It's going to create many series of chain of events negatively for the people that have uh, missed court dates and the ones that are about to miss court dates. Um, um, some are about to lose, uh, forced to be uh, forced to lose custody of their children for some, child for some. Some, um, they are going to uh, win a very, 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 very large amount of money for severe wrongdoings in the in the past that was done to them. So you plug it in, how that resonates. Um, that that's so strong. So. Um, congrats to whoever that's for. Um, the one that's about to receive the very, very, I heard a very, 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 very large amount of money. But it was some kind of horrible wrongdoing done to you in some shape, form, or fashion. I'm feeling some kind of civil rights violation. I didn't hear it was civil rights violation, but um, it, it sounds like it was. For one of these particular situations, it most certainly was. Okay, I heard one of these situations, it was. Uh, one, it was sexual harassment. Okay, one, it was sexual harassment. So one of the, at least two of you guys is about to receive a uh, win in court soon. Sounds like the other person's not going to show up to the court um, court date um, soon, coming up. Because we, ha okay, so we have some that has already missed the court date. It's going to go negatively for them. Anytime you miss a court date in any shape, form, or fashion, just to let, I'm sure you guys know, but I'm just going to reiterate this because I feel like I should. Um Anytime you miss a court date in any shape, form, or fashion, I don't care if it's for a minor speeding ticket, any, anything, any court date, it's never good to miss a court date. It creates negative series of chain of events and legal fees and jail sometimes, and it just creates a big hot mess express. Um, I mean, it really all depends on the judge and the situation and et cetera, et cetera, et cetera, but it's just never good to miss a court date um, if anybody needs to hear that. But some have already missed court dates. It sounds like it's at least two plus people in the universe. You have to plug yourself in where you fit. Are you the one that missed the court dates? Are you connected to someone that missed the court dates in the recent past? For some, they are about to miss court dates. Um, but whoever you are, I feel you are up against this person uh, for the, at least the two in the universe are about to win the large amount of money. Whoever you are. Um, just saying, just saying. Um, these are the upcoming ones. So these have not happened yet. These have already happened. And the ones that have missed the court dates, it's going to create negative series of chain of events for them. So whatever negative series of chain of events, the judge or judges, you know, or I'm assuming judge, creates for them, um, sets for them, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. It might be fines. It might be jail. It might um, be a trial. I mean, I don't know. You have to plug it in how it resonates. And then there's upcoming ones that some are about to miss the court date. But it's going to go positively for you. For one of you guys, I heard it's a sexual harassment case. and you're, um, So it's going to go positively for you, the person that doesn't show up to the court date because they, I guess they know they were in the wrong and they know they did sexually harass you or they know you've got evidence or proof or something of that nature. So for one, it's a sexual harassment case. And for one, it is a civil rights violation. Um, I heard that you very much well deserve the money. So you plug it in, how it resonates. And I heard it's a hell of a lot amount of money. How that resonates for you. 
um, congrats to whoever that's for. It's the other party not about to show up to the court date is what it sounds like. Um, but it sounds like they're not going to do it because they know. Um, I don't know. I didn't hear why. Let's see if we hear why. I'm assuming the sexual harassment one because they know they did is what I'm assuming. But I, I don't know. Let me see if I hear anything. For one of these particular people that has to be at the court date soon, there's going to be shocking series of shame events that occur to th occur for them where they cannot show up, nor do they want to show up. Their life is about to get very, very, very chaotic very quickly, very soon. Oh my God. Whoa. So you plug in how it resonates. Okay. So there's at least two of you guys about to go to court dates that are about to win and be successful, but it's because the other party is about to not show up. One of them is sexual harassment um, case in some shape, form, or fashion. You have to plug in your life how it fits. It could be you or somebody you're connected to. For one of you guys, it's a civil rights violations case. Um, it could be you or somebody you're connected to. But I heard in one of these situations, one of the parties that's not going to show up because in both these situations it sounds like both of them aren't going to show up and one of these particular situations where they're not going to show up i heard basically there's going to be some kind of shocking series of shame events from the universe that's going to occur for them to where um it's going to force it to where they cannot show up um and i heard nor do they want to show up so they didn't even want to show up to get begin with but probably because they know that either they had to perjure themselves they if they perjured themselves in the court of law they perjured, perjured themselves or you have some kind of evidence and proof proving what they're saying is what they're that they're perjuring themselves and they know it um, or something of that nature. But some kind of shocking series of chain events is going to occur in one of these situations where the universe is going to force it to where they can, it's, I heard their life is about to get very chaotic, very crazy soon and quickly. So it sounds like these court dates are coming very soon. One significant sexual harassment case, one significant, um, Civil rights violations case. <coughs> Excuse me. So you plug in how it resonates. We have ten of cups on the bottom of the deck. This this win in court is going to be very, very, very life changing for you. Some you have a partner. Some you have a family. Oh my gosh. Okay. Well, congrats to whoever you are on the winning side over here. Um, I heard um, there's at least two winners going to be soon here because of somebody not wanting to show. I heard shocking series of chain events. Their life's about to get paid off, paid off crazy and they don't want to come anyways. So however that resonates. And then one, they're just not going to show up. But probably because they're mortified because they have being called out in the court of law, court of law for civil rights violations or uh, sexual harassment, but they shouldn't have done what they did in all fairness. But I heard basically it's um, the huge money win, basically, if you plug in with this situation or situations or you're connected to somebody in this situation or situations, it's going to be life changing in a very positive way. Some for you because you have a partner. So I'm thinking a girlfriend, a boyfriend, a, a committed partner, a fiance or a spouse. And some you have a family. So I'm thinking child or children. I'm thinking single, single parent energy over here for some of you guys. For some, you have a partner. I'm thinking no kids. Um, so, Ten of Cups, it's going to make your home life very, very, very comfortable. It's going to make your life situation very pleasant because um, financially, because um, I feel for whoever you guys are over here, if you plug into this, you have been... You've been barely making ends meet or trying to make ends meet. Some of you could be working two, three, four, five jobs, just really hustling it. And trust me, I, I understand that. I've done that most of my life. I get it. I get it. I get it. Um, I've always worked hard for my money, for sure. But, um, but I feel you're in the same situation as what I'm trying to say. But it's going to really, really help you financially. It's going to make your home life financially comfortable i feel for some you might move for some you might renovate your home for some you might pay off your home if you own it for some if you rent you might move 
for, uh, for some, you might go on a vacation. For some, you might move locations. But you're going to have the money and freedom to do what you want to do. Finally, after being sexually harassed for some and some civil rights violations violated. And you should. Anybody that goes through sexual harassment and um, or civil rights violations, they should be financially compensated. Absolutely. Let me, let me pull one more. Spirit messages here. Too many, too many. I feel whoever this is that's about to not show up to the court date and the ones that haven't shown up to the court date recently, they live a life in excess. I think maybe addictions, drugs, alcohol, sex, gambling, etc., etc. Spirit messages you have for you. I hate everything about you uh, by three days grace is on. I hate everything about you by three days grace is on. Three of swords upright, nine of wands reverse. Um, so, you know, just saying, just saying. Three of swords upright, nine of wands reverse. For the ones that are about to receive this very, 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 very large amount of money for all the heartbreak you have had to encounter in the past, you're going to have many people try to come back. And fake apologize. Okay, so you plug it in how it resonates. Wow. So if this resonates for you, um, situation one or two, the sexual harassment violation or the civil rights violation, however that resonates, um, I heard once you basically receive, it sounds like the court of law is going to award you this money. It sounds like the court of law is. Now, where they get it from, I'm not sure. I'm assuming the other person's going to have to pay it. I mean, I don't know. I'm not a judge. I'm not a lawyer. I don't work in the legal sector. I don't know who's going to award you this money. Um, but somehow you're about to acquire it. So, um from a sexual harassment violation or um, civil rights violation, how that resonates. But how that resonates, I heard basically, once you receive this large amount of money, for some, I feel it could go very public. It might go in the news. Um, but if it do, if somehow people in your past is going to find out you acquire this money is what I'm trying to say. Somehow, they are definitely going to find out. It's going to be very public. Okay, I heard it's definitely, um, they're definitely going to find out it's going, be, it's going to be very public. So it's going to be very public when you find, um, when you receive, when you get this money. I think it might be news. Um, I think it might be displayed on the news for some of you guys. And I'm serious. Um, or somebody just gets wind and they start blasting it all over social media. But I feel news might be involved for some of you guys because this is a huge thing. It's a huge thing. Sexual um, harassment violations and civil rights violations are huge things. It should be public. In my opinion, it should be news media public. It absolutely freaking literally should be. Um, but I heard you're going to have many people in your past going to try to come back and fake. Uh, they're going to apologize, but it's going to be fake apologies is what I heard. So um, they're going to be heartbroken because um, it sounds like it's about the wheels about to turn in your favor. They didn't want it to. They wanted you to be sexually harassed, I'm assuming. They wanted you to be uh, civil rights violated. Your civil rights violated. They didn't want you to have this. They most certainly did not. Okay, I heard they most certainly did not. Okay, so it's fake people your past, like front of me energy. So they're going to be heartbroken secretly, and secretly inside while they're, they're trying to come back and fake apologize to you. I think so you could give them some money. They're going to try to butter you up. Nine of Wands reverse. They didn't stand up for you in the past um, because they didn't want you to have the money. They didn't want you to have the money. They didn't want you to be comfortable. They didn't want you, they were okay with your civil rights being violated. They were okay with you being sexually harassed, which that's never okay to be sexually harassed or your civil rights violated. Just let FYI for everybody. Someone's having a huge wake up call. Okay, I heard someone's having a huge wake up call. So um, at least one of you guys is having a huge wake up call. It could be about something in this reading. It could be about something in your personal life. It could be both. You plug it in how it resonates. Every time you leave, but I prevail is on. Every time you leave, but I prevail. All right, you guys, I hope this helped. Love you guys so much. This was actually a great reading.
Love you guys so much. Namaste.